Here comes the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. Multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, legend in the making. Mella is money! And her partner from Staten Island, New York, the princess of Staten Island, Carmella! Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella is the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Well, it's great where you can wear blinders. Why would I want blinders on when Mella's around? So what would you know anything about how to win a title like Mella? So I see you're kissing up to Carmella as well. Why wouldn't I? I think she's an unbelievable talent. Mella is money. It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! And their opponents, first, from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks! Byron, it's always a treat to see Sasha Banks Sasha Banks has her own swag, she's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. Corey, I don't understand what your issues are with Sasha Banks. She's one of the all-time greats. You ever talk to her? She's intolerable. Corey's just jealous. He wishes he had half the bling that Sasha has. feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes, everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. I think she just winked at you, Byron. I think so too. Hey, Bailey. Charlotte has always had a foil in the form of Sasha Banks. Their careers have intertwined for quite a while, haven't they? Michael, the few blemishes on Charlotte's pristine record have come via the boss. Banks handed Charlotte her final loss in NXT and also ended the... She might have it. I don't think this is going to do it. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. Ah, oh, big slam. 
time. He's not going to get a tap. He, he works your way out of the holes. And I don't know how. That was locked in pretty good. Harsh impact. Looks like Charlotte is coming into some trouble now. Yeah. Queen's in jeopardy. But you can bet she has plenty of fight in her. And you could tell that this crowd is shocked to see her losing in such a definitive manner right oh. now. Sasha Banks in a little bit of trouble now. I'd say a lot of trouble. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. Oh. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight. And you know what? I think it's working. Jeez. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. With Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kobe Kingston are two-time tag team champions. But it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. What do you think Sasha Banks needs to do to get back? Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. Looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever, and what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 days. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their really best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. And Bailey evades that one. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. She's flipped a switch and the light is on. She is on fire! Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Carmella is more dangerous than ever. The Princess of Staten Island is filled with a hostility we've never seen before, so if a superstar is going to go up against her, they have to strike early. Oh, wow! Frankensteiner! Nice! What is keeping Carmella even going at this point? I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. Corey, before you mention that Carmella is more aggressive than ever, if an opponent wants to have any sort of chance against the Princess, they'll need to land significant offense right from the opening bell. I'm all for sportsmanship, but in WWE, you have to know when to fight fire with fire. To all the women in WWE, to even be able to think about victory against Carmella, you have to strike first, strike hard, and strike often. Carmella with a nice reversal. 
lap. And it appears Bailey is starting to hit the wall physically now. I'm not so sure she even knows where she is at this point. That's over at this point. <laughs> I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Carmella with a nice reversal. Boom, what impact! Lights out, DDT connects. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Carmella with a nice reversal. Setting up for a neck breaker. That could be it. Carmella with a nice reversal. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. Uh-oh, flashback! Look at from Suplex. Carmella with a nice reversal. Back now inside the ring. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. When she gets in attack mode, look at her. Bailey evades that one. Elbow drop. Piercing. That's how you wear down your opponent. The Hunter will one. Oh, nice suplex. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. Stunner! Stunner! And her partner's looking to get back in there. She's tired of resting. She wants to go. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Oh, oh, oh. Move over, Ronaldo. Locked in. It's locked in. Carmella can put her away here. Not so fast. She breaks it. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Carmella with a nice reversal. Sasha Banks looks like she's really struggling right now under the pressure. This might be it! Oh, my. She can pick up the win here, guys. Will be ended here! Two! Three! And we have our winners. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. That's a woman on a mission. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. And here's the last piece of the puzzle.
the Princess of Staten Island, Carmella. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. These two girls make me think that we should have a women's tag team championship. Who do I have to talk to to get that done? And folks, if you're just joining us, I'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting SmackDown matches in recent memory.